guys and welcome back to Slick Sit Gaming and welcome back to MS7 for another drift build and today we're going to be working on ah 2003 BMW M5 uh, oh it's a hot car so let's get stuck in for this drift build all right jump in this car see what's going on we ain't got no body kits for this so it doesn't need one anyway fine lines on a beamer Okay, we'll check out the engine swap, see what we're working with. See if I want to stay with the stock engine. Well, the stock engine ain't too bad, man. We're pulling like 394 horsepower. And we've only got one upgrade, so we'll see which one that is. 5.2 litre V10. And that takes it up to like, oh, I, I might even just go for that, bro. You know what? I never normally do engine swaps. I normally stay with the, the stock engine on the beams because they're pretty good. But um, I'm definitely going to go for this 5.2 litre V10. All right, let's go. Let's put up the horsepower a lot, I'm telling you. All right, so now we have the engine. Supercharger or twin turbos? I don't want any like turbo lag, so I'm going to go supercharger. Just keep it right there. Look at that. Smooth as. Pushes it up to 600 horsepower. We don't need much on this car today. Cause I don't drift with a lot of horsepower anyway. I'm leaving it that color too. I'm gonna change the rims. Uh, we just work. No, no kits. Oh, I like the split. I like the split. Mm. How much weight we add into it? We don't add too much weight. Um, I quite like the split. I just think it gives it a good feature. Or downforce in the front. Uh, I'm gonna put it on there just for the hell of it. No spoilers. We don't deal with wangs on these cars. I can't retard that looks. Nope, no wings. Pretty sick as it is. Tire compound. Stock. Always go with streets. Love streets. Tire whip. Uh, one up. Normally I do that anyway, so yep, yeah, that's fine. We'll go with that. Move to the rears. 285, no. 305, no. 315s, I'm going for the 315s. More width in the rear <coughs> for the grip. That's how I like it. Now we're changing them rims, man. Oh, mate. Gonna go for slowly go through, pick some rims I've never had before. Here we go, so better view. I'm just gonna go through the rims and see which one suits the car, and then we'll go from there. Oh, those look pretty fresh, man. Looking for something to complement the, the lines of the car because this is a beautiful car, this BMW, man. I don't really mess around with these, uh, you know, four-door cars. I normally just mess with the S chassis. It's my favorite, but I do like Beamers. Uh, let's have a look. Do you know what? Because <clears throat> I'm going to leave that, that paint on there. I'm feeling these rooms. Yeah, we'll go with these. Okay, and we've chose the rims. Uh, they're on 18s, that's fine with me. Alright, we're done here. Excuse me for sniffing, it's a bit cold today. Oh, we're, we're maxing this out, everything's sport, oh, actually, sorry, race. Definitely, we don't mess around with this. Maxing this all out. We got 600 horsepower. That's not too bad for this beamer. We're gonna add a little bit more, but not too much more. Okay. Definitely upgrading the brakes. Always do. 
little left foot brake and now we do this on the TX racing rim, the TH8A shifter and the pro pedals, you know, it complements my whole rig, which I love so much while I'm doing my drift build, you know what I'm saying dudes? You know, if you don't have a rig or you're working on controller, you know, it's not a bad thing, but you know, if you want to get immersed into the game and definitely get yourself a rig and um, you know, check out some of that Frostmaster stuff, man. I'm telling you, it's worth the money. All right, so we gotta drop this. Definitely slamming this. <clears throat> anti robot race, I always do that. Max that out. I mean, it's pretty heavy. I don't know if I wanna roll cage it. We'll see. Let me just drop the weight reduction that goes down to. Boy, it's still a heavy car. Ah, we're gonna put the roll cage in. We're not gonna go too far with the roll cage. We're not gonna put a full cage in there, even though normally that's what I do. There we go. I mean, because if I add the full cage, I mean, let's look at the, the weight. You know, you see how much dramatically that's gone up. And I mean, normally I put a cage in a car just to keep. I mean, I could, but it's a heavy car. I may have to go, uh, if I put the cage in, I may have to put some more horses in this. Mm, I'm not gonna go full cage. All right. Definitely, definitely. Max that out. 624 horsepower just from those two parts. Man, that is a beast. I mean, you don't need much more than this. I ain't, I'm not going too crazy. Hundred and fifty one horsepower. Okay, we're moving on. Flywheel, definitely. We ain't playing. Six hundred and fifty one horsepower, okay. Mm, do I really want to go crazy? I don't know. Let me see what the supercharger add is. Oh that's mm, no, I don't, don't want to go too much. I reckon maybe about seven ish. Ah, there you go, bro. 700 horsepower. I'm gonna go no heavier than that. This is gonna be a monster. All right, let's go tune this. Okay. Okay, let's do this. Tire pressure in the front. 37 PSI. And in the rears, I always do it. 24 PSI. Oh, I don't really need to mess with any of this right now. I could always come back and change something, but that's some horses on there, but just slow it down a bit. This thing is a beast. See what that does? It's messing with the, you know, the final drag. Sometimes I don't have to mess with the gears. Final drag looks like it's working wonders. Let me bring that down a bit, see how that looks. I want to keep them gears tight. I think just a little bit more. 3.73. This is a fast car. All right, I'm leaving it at 220. Front camber. This is just something I do. I mean, you could try this for yourself, ladies and gentlemen. See if you like it. If you don't, you know, always put your tune back on, but this always works for me. Make it rigid in the front, like I always do. You know, just I take my time when I'm doing my tuning, you see, because, you know, everybody tunes different on Forza. But you can take these settings down if it works for you, by all means. Take a little stab at it. This is just for a little left foot brake. I don't want my brakes too sharp, just so I can, it acts as like a handbrake in a sense, because I haven't modded my Thrustmaster wheel yet, because <laughs> I've had it for two years, and I don't really fancy modding it. 
So, you know, this works for me. And plus, I, um, I'm running 600 degrees of rotation because I, I don't have a handbrake. So, it works on 600, 540, 900 is, is cool, but I really do need a handbrake for that. But, um, you know, Vegas can't be choosers and you have to just work with what you got, man. So, I ain't modding my rim until I get my PC and then I will get my handbrake and add it to that. So, that's that. Okay, we done. We'll take this on a test track, test it, see how it runs, and uh, we'll go from there. That seems to be working fine to me. All right, here we go. Let's test drive this car, bro. I'm ready. And what track we're going to touch yet? Feeling Suzuka. grab a sip of my coffee and let's test drive this car see how it drifts see if it's worthy I may have to mess around with the gear ratios but I can always test it out on track which is always good when you're doing it this way they should in uh, invest in putting this online it would be so much easier and I like you can adjust your tune online that would be so nice only in game you can do that but you know it's okay tune it here then go online and uh, smash it when you get on that track all right Let's get it. I don't know if I left it on rolling start. I don't think I did. No, I didn't. Thank God for that. Beautiful. Look at this car, bro. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, boy. See them tires, man. Oh, boy. Look at that. Oh, we heat them up. We heat them up. Oh, she feels like a monster, mate. I'm not even lying to you. Changing up this view. We're gonna go hood view, ladies and gentlemen, because I prefer hood view, you know? That's how we do it. All right, let's kick it. Oh, mate, she's a monster. Oh, yeah. Oh, this V10's a monster, mate. Woo! All right, let's poke. Nice and easy. Oh yeah. Oh, this is sick, mate. So like I said, man, you could copy down the tune, pause it on the parts where I'm doing all the fine tuning, and then give it a test and tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Because to me, man, I'm loving this tune, bro. And that third gear is the money. Oh yeah. Handbrake. Take a couple of cones on the way down. Oh, this thing is a monster, mate. I could go into that fourth gear, but I just want to test run it. I don't want to go too crazy yet. That is 106 miles an hour there, bro. Let's get it. Oh, man, here we go. Oh, I'm loving this, bro. Ladies and gentlemen, if you like this tune, please let me know in the comment section. Just give it a try. Tell me what you think. I think it's a sick little tune, man. And 700 horsepower, bro. It's smooth like butter. Oh, yeah. Oh, just a little mistake. You know it happens. It happens. We're entitled to make little mistakes. You know how it goes, bro. Kick the clutch. Left foot brake. Nice and smooth on that corner. Little left foot brake. And again, rip the handbrake. Woohoo! Kick the clutch. Come on, baby. Oh man, this is sick, man. I'm loving this tune. Tell me, you guys looking forward to Christmas? Because I am. It's uh, the year's gone so quick. 
like I said, man, um, this year for video games has been crazy. And look out for 2018, more content coming and um, more giveaways, you know. we just got to feel our way around because I'm a brand new channel, you know. And um, I'm loving YouTube right now. I love making videos. Woo, let's go, bro. Oh, get off the grass. All right, that counts there. Lift the handbrake. Yeah. Clutch. Oh, Oh, this car's butter, man. V10 power. Woo! Oh, yep, 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 yep. We saved it. Oh, that was sick, man. Let's have a look on the outside. I'm going to try a third person. Normally, a friend of mine says, you know, I'm always doing a uh, good view. I know it's the only, it's the only view I can uh, really master. But we'll give it a try. Let's rip. Oh, man, it's not too bad. Come on, kick the clutch, come on, baby. Not bad. I don't normally do the third person, but it's not too bad. Man, check that out. Oh, no. Hit break. Oh, little tap, little tap. It's okay, it's okay. I saved it. There's a chicken. All right, we're going to rip this corner. That's tight, that's tight. We got it, we got it. A bit sketchy on that corner, but oh well. I don't normally do third person. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Let's go. Rip, 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 rip. Yeah, boy! <laughs> oh, this, this, this is the butter, man. This third gear. I'll put this tune up on the storefront when I'm finished here. If anybody wants to give it a test, you know, or just try, try out the tune yourself. It's there for you to have a, a nice stab at, see if you like it. But I will put the tune up on the storefront if you want to test it out. But it is so smooth, mate. That third and fourth gear is the button, man, trust me. Oh, man. I'm loving this, bro. Work a little sketchy there. All right, man, we're going to try another view. We're gonna try the madness. Here we go. I don't normally do this view. This is my, it's the worst view for me, but we'll try it. Let's go. Listen to that V10. Woo! Monster! I left on the camera shake because I like it. Realism. Rip! Oh, goodness. Here we go. Real life. Yeah, boy. Oh, it's a little sketchy there. Brass life, brass life. Yeah, mate. Oh, that was smooth. Oh man, I'm, going, I'm getting it, I'm getting it. Whoa, that was tight. Okay, <laughs> that feels sick. Woo! Alright, we'll change the view up again. See how that goes. Oh, this is sick, man. Soon I'll have my camcorder up so you, um, you'll see me on the bottom left or bottom right or wherever on the screen soon so you get to see what I'm doing a bit more because, you know, it's so much fun on the wheel. Whoa, sketchy, All right, kick it, there we go. Woo! 600 degrees of rotation. I find it, you know, because Forza can be a little bit, you know, hardcore on 900 when you don't have a, a handbrake to pull you back sometimes or if you get to left foot brake sometimes. So I find 600 degrees is more than sufficient or more than efficient, shall I say. Oh, here we go, here we go, let's get it. Left foot brake, left foot brake. Rip, rip, rip. Yeah, boy. <laughs> oh, we'll 
finish this with a little mangy, bro. You know, not too much. Just oh my goodness, this car's a beast, bro. Oh, nice one, nice one, nice one. Right, we gotta rip this one more time. Six seconds. Oh, oh, it was a bit sketchy. Oh, they stopped me. <laughs> that was sick. Oh, mate. What can I say? Crazy days. Hope you guys are looking forward to Christmas. Um, it's going to be a great, great, great end of the year. New games coming out for next year. I'm looking forward to the crew too. Can't wait to get my hands on that. That's going to be awesome. And, uh, oh man, what can I say? That was awesome, mate. I loved it, loved it 100%. Tune was insane. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, you know, take a look at the tune, see if you like it, give it a try. If it's great, let me know in the comment section and I'm gonna put it up on the storefront right now. So, man, enjoy. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below. And don't forget, have a great Christmas, you know? We're gonna be making ton, tons of content, man, and through next year, man, I'm gonna be on it. So, uh, enjoy the festive season and have a great day. Peace.